what do you do in life in order to really get on track, to put your train, your caboose and everything else on the right track, on the right train rails so that you know you're going in the right direction. It's like in concrete, it's in bedrock. That's the way I'm going. That's it. It's very clear and everything inside of me and outside of me intrinsically and extrinsically is working for me to make this really happen. How do you go about doing that? Well, the really thing to only to do is to deprogram and reprogram your subconscious. You can invest a lot of money in seminars and all these other things like that. Um, short team, you will have some success with that, maybe even a couple of years, but we're talking long term here. We're talking about life. We're talking about life in its entirety and its, in its entire length. So what this does right here is it deprograms your subconscious and your subconscious is that what really brings you in the direction you want to go. Everything else is willpower and it's really trying hard and leaves you kind of drained at the end of the day. This is something that's really coming from the inside to the outside. In, you, are, you, are how you, are, you are what you eat. You are what you think. And this is um, basically what you automatically think when you go to bed at night and so forth. And when you wake up in the morning, that's what your subconscious is thinking. What are you dreaming about? All of these things. So this is what we're doing right here. With the greatest salesman in the world, this is scroll number three. I will persist until I succeed. By the way, behind me, what you see right there on that plant, that's tomatoes. Tomatoes are coming up. It is now July. And uh, tomato time. It's nice, fresh tomatoes. Nice, good German green tomatoes. Green tomatoes and ham, said Sam I am. In the Orient, young bulls are tested for the fight arena in a certain manner. Each is brought to the ring and allowed to attack a picador who pricks him with a lance. The bravery of each bull is then rated with care according to the number of times he demonstrates his willingness to charge in spite of the sting of the blade. Henceforth will I recognize that I am tested by, by life in like manner. If I continue to charge forward, if I continue to charge, if I continue to try, I will succeed. I will persist until I will succeed. I was not delivered in this world of defeat, nor does failure course in my veins. I am not a sheep being, wanted, being waited, waiting to be prodded by my shepherd. I am a lion, and I refuse to talk, to walk, to sleep with the sheep. I will hear not those who weep and complain, for their disease is contagious. Let them join the sheep. The slaughterhouse of failure is not my destiny. I will persist until I succeed. The prizes of life are at the end of each journey, not near the beginning. It is not given to me to know how many steps are necessary in order to reach my goal. Failure I may still encounter at the thousandth step. Its success behind, hides behind the next bend in the road. Never will I know how close it lies unless I turn the corner. I have a day like that where it's, that's exactly what, it, what, it, what I mean with this. Um, failure I may still encounter at this thousand step. I'm doing really good in all areas of my life, but I still have some areas like privately where it really sucks and it pulls me down and I can't believe it. It's still happening to me. But what this schools have been done to me for done for me so far is it's really put me up on a new level, and it prohibits for me to put up with any kind of bullshit in my life. So I have to change the things in my life, and I remember, and I feel everything in, inside of me is kind of going against it. But I have no other choice because my subconscious is forcing me to do all these changes so that I'm doing better. So. Um, Word to the wise, if you're going through the scrolls, you're doing everything, you're changing your subconscious, your subconscious wants the best for you, the most love for yourself, and you're going to be going through some changes, I tell you. Always will I take another step. If I have to ask no avail, I will take another and yet another. In truth, one step at a time is not too difficult. I will persist until I succeed. Henceforth, will I consider each day's effort as what one blow of my blade against the mighty oak. The first blow may cause not a tremor in the wood, nor the second, nor the third. Each blow of itself may be trifling and seem of no consequence. If it childish swipes, the oak will eventually tumble. So it will be with my efforts of today. I'll be likened to the raindrop which washes away the mountain. The ant devours a tiger. The slave who builds a pyramid. The star which brightens the earth. I will build my castle one brick at a time, for I know that small attempts repeated will complete any undertaking. I will persist until I succeed. 
I will never consider defeat, and I will remove from my vocabulary such words and phrases as quit, cannot, unable, question, unquestion, uh, questionable, improbable, failure, unworkable, hopeless, and retreat, for they are the words of fools. I will avoid despair, but if this disease of the mind should infect me, then I will work on in despair. I will toil and endure. I will ignore the obstacles at my feet. I really need that today because today I feel like I feel like a, a train ran over me. It's just so hard to do the scrolls today. This is the hardest day I've had in a long, long time. I had this at the beginning of the scrolls, and it's just like some people just go against me so hard, and it's like, wow, this is really, this is painful. But no pain, no gain. I will toil and I will endure. I will ignore the obstacles at my feet and keep mine eyes on the goals above my head. For I know that where dry desert ends, green grass grows. I will persist until I succeed. I will remember the ancient law of averages and I will bend it to my good. I will persist with knowledge that each failure to sell will increase my chance for success at the next attempt. Each nay I hear will bring me closer to the sound of yea. Each frown I meet only prepares me for the smile to come. Each misfortune I encounter will carry it in the seed of tomorrow's good luck. I must have the night to appreciate the day. I must fail often to succeed only once. I will persist until I succeed. I will try and try and try again. Each obstacle I will consider as a mere detour to my goal and a challenge to my profession. I will persist and develop my skills as Marina develops his by learning to ride out the wrath of each storm. Henceforth will I learn and apply another secret of those who excel in my work. When each day is ended, this is how I feel right here. But not regarding what has been a success or a failure, I will attempt to make one more sale. My thoughts beckon my tired body homeward. I will resist the temptation to part. I will try again. I will make one more attempt to close with victory. If that fails, I will make another and another. Never will I allow any day to end with a failure. That's why I plant a seed of tomorrow's success and gain an insurmountable advantage over those who cease their labor at a prescribed time. When others cease their struggle, then mine will begin. And it's like with these videos. I really do not feel like doing anything today. I feel so finished and so kaput. You just cannot believe it. But I'm doing the videos anyway, and I know it's a character building today. <clears throat> But I don't feel like it. But I'm doing it anyway. It doesn't make any difference. If you, It's like anything. If you stop doing something one single time, then you always quit. And you're a quitter for life. And who wants to be like that? No one will allow yesterday's success to lull me in today's complacency. For this is the great foundation of failure. I'll forget the happenings of the day that is gone, whether they were good or bad, and greet the new sun with confidence that this will be the best day of my life. So long as there is breath in me, that long will I persist, for now I know one of the greatest principles of success. If I persist long enough, I will win. I will persist, I will win, even if I feel like complete shit today. I really do. Thank you for staying in tune, and as always, peace.